Uh, today's presentation is going to be on how to create a referral marketing machine for your tutoring business because something that I've noticed um, that most tutors do not have. The, the thing about tutors is tutors are usually really, really, really good at tutoring, but sometimes they forget about the skill of marketing and actually being able to create business uh, for their tutoring business. And so one of the easiest and uh, more affordable uh, ways to actually grow your business is through referral marketing because one it's free right because um, all basically it's 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 word of mouth marketing really um, because there's there's two forms of marketing right there's free marketing and then there's uh, paid marketing right and I'm a huge advocate of both um, but referral marketing is one of those things that every business must have um, because one it drums up free business um, and two it's the highest margin business because uh, like I said, you don't have to pay for it, right? So in this training, uh, I'm going to be uh, going to show you how you can be in turning your current customers in uh, into fuel for your business. So the only caveat to this is obviously you do have to have some people um, either already, you know, current customers who are willing to talk about you and refer their friends and, and their circle to you. Um, or, you know, it doesn't even have to be customers. It could just be people, you know, right. That are willing to talk about you, rave about you, stuff like that. So the very first step to actually having a referral marketing strategy, it sounds silly, but it's to actually have one, right? There's so many businesses out there that don't have any sort of incentive or reason for, you know, people to actually refer uh, their friends, their family, their coworkers and stuff to you, right? So that's the very first step. So if you learn anything from this training today, it's that um, you, you need a referral program, right? So most businesses don't even have a referral program in place, which I think that's incredibly insane. I remember I read this book a couple of years ago. I forgot what it's called, but it was all about referral marketing. It was talking about how if you walk into most businesses, um, most of them aren't going to have one of these referral programs in place. And it could be simple, right? And we're going to talk about all the different ways and different offers and stuff you can actually implement in your business. But he was saying it's, it's crazy because if you don't have this small thing, um, you're missing out on a massive amount of opportunity because as I put down here, do not assume people will refer you without you actually asking for the referral. I, I've had so many people contact me and say, hey, I didn't know if I was allowed to give out your number. Like, is it OK? And it's 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 wild to me because. Like, I'm like, yes, like tell everyone about me. But a lot of times they don't really know if you want more business. They don't. And, you know, sometimes they don't think about it or they're not sure if they're allowed to give out your information. So make sure it's very clear that, yes, it, it is OK. Right. So what should a referral system look like? So these are all different things that I've tried in the past. These are just different ideas that you can implement into your business or, um, you know, maybe these will just get some of the juices flowing and you could try something else. Um, but some of the some of the simple ones are like fifty dollars off your next package, right? And so, um, not to go on a tangent, but you should be selling your tutoring in packages. If you're selling about an hour, uh, you definitely need to switch over to packages. So, uh, fifty dollars off your next package, right? Um, this is one of my favorites. Is fifty dollars off their package plus the person that they referred. So they're both saving. So there's an incentive on both sides. Like, hey you know what, um, if, if, if you go and choose this guy for tutoring, I'm going to save 50 bucks, but you're also going to save $50 on your first package, right? Um, so this is a really cool one. This is one that I really like to use here, the second one. Uh, one is like four free sessions of tutoring. So simply like, hey, for everyone that you refer to me, um, I'll, I'll give you free four sessions of tutoring, right? Simple. 25% uh, off your next package, which uh, twenty five percent off could be substantial depending on how large of a package they end up purchasing. I mean, um, one of my largest packages is thirty five hundred dollars. Right. So if, if they're going to save twenty five percent off that package, I mean, that's going to be, a, a, you know, it's going to be a lot of money that they could save. Right. So it's really going to incentivize them to, to tell people so they could save money on their next package. Uh, a $30 gift card to your local coffee shop is always cool. And it doesn't have to be 30 bucks. It could be less. It could be more um, or a hundred dollars cash, right? hundred dollars cash is usually interesting. One thing that I want to talk about here, the caveat to this is you really want to understand what, you know, 
what drives your audience, right? So like if, if you have like a lot of very, very wealthy people who are, are purchasing your tutoring, right? Saving 50 bucks might not really appeal to them, right? Um, or if you're, for example, let's say you serve the college community and you have a lot of people who, you know, are in college and da, 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 like $30 gift card or hundred dollars cash might really entice them to tell their friends like, Hey, look, I'll tell you what, you refer some of your buddies over to me and I'm going to give you, I'm going to put a hundred dollars in your pocket. Right. And so, um, depending on who your audience is, uh, can really, you know, dictate the, uh, the offer for the referral program. Um, that you choose, right? Hopefully that makes sense. So um, cool. So those are, those are, these are all, oops, these are all a couple of ideas um, that you can implement. And I decide, or I mean, I, I recommend just simply picking one and kind of rolling with it, right? So um, now how do you actually promote your referral program? So how do you actually get this information out into the world, into your customers' hands so they know that, um, you know, that, that you have this thing that can benefit them, benefit you, and, and also benefit the people that they're referring to. Uh, let me see real quick. Uh, cool, thank you. So, awesome. So in your onboarding emails, right? Now, what are onboarding emails? Onboarding emails are essentially, oops, let's see, there we go. Uh, froze for a second. So onboarding emails is basically um, an email sequence that you should have when a customer actually signs up uh, for your services that goes out, you know, every day or every couple days or every week that actually tells them about different things that you offer, right? You know, you can tell them about, you know, the different services you offer. You can tell them, you know, different ways on how to maximize your um, you know, the, the tutoring with you guys. And one of those emails should be talking about your refer referral program. Like, Hey, did you guys know that we have this really cool referral program where everybody can benefit? You know, we get a student, you can get this, they can get this, et cetera. So you should definitely have an onboarding email that talks about in detail, your referral program, right? Um, you should put it in your contract. So just like uh, somewhere in the contract, a, a lot of people are against contracts. I am not. I think that if you're an actual business owner, you should definitely have a contract. Um, so in that contract, just say, hey, you know, we have this really cool referral program that you can take advantage of, right? Um, put it in your session summary. So what I mean by that is so like we use a calendar system. So I specifically use LearnSpeed. Uh, to actually manage like all the sessions and stuff that go on um, in my tutoring business. So with when when we're actually finished with a session, my tutors or myself has to go in and actually create what's called a session summary. So they say, hey, you know what? Today we worked on this, we worked on that. Um, they need a little bit more help on this, et cetera. And at the bottom, I'll say, hey, PS, who do you know that could benefit? Or if you know someone that could benefit from tutoring, um, did you know you can save $50 if you refer them to us, right? So put it in your session summaries so they're constantly reminded and, and it's, you know, constantly put in, into their heads, right? Put it in the footer of your emails, right? So when you when, when people are emailing you or you're emailing them or, or you're replying or whatever in, your, in the footer of your email, you should have certain things. One of those things should be, hey, did you know we have a referral program, okay? Um, you can send out an automated email every 30 days to your current customers. Um, and this is gonna be something, I'm actually gonna show you an example of this here um, in, in I think maybe the next slide. Um, and so you should, you should be sending them out an email every 30 days just saying, hey, did you know we have this thing? Hey, did you know you can benefit from this thing? Hey, you know, who do you know, who do you know, who do you know, right? Constantly be asking them. And every 30 days, it's not a lot at all. Um, people might say, you know, it's not annoying. You know, half the people you send it to aren't even going to see it. They're not even going to open it. It's going to get lost in junk. And that's why you always want to be constantly reminding these people. Um, and then the last way is literally tell people about it. So like sometimes, like, I mean, I train my tutors to, to, to constantly be asking, like, if they bring up like, yeah, man, you know, me and my friend were working in school and they're having trouble. Hey, why don't you tell them about us? I'll tell you what, you know, you tell them about us if they give us a call and sign up. Um, you know, we'll give you a kickback or whatever that may be. So literally tell people you have a referral program and that you're looking for people to um, get referred over to you. So this is actually an email that we send using um, the smart tutor system um, that I've developed. And so this is one of the emails that actually goes out every 30 days. And the subject says, would you like $100? 
you know, hey, Susan, who do you know that could benefit from our tutoring services? If you know of a family member, friend, coworker, anyone who has a child that could use a little bit of help in school, send them our way. If they end up purchasing a package from us, you'll get $100. Sound good? The biggest compliment that we can receive from you is a referral. We really appreciate it, Richard, right? So this is an email that we send out roughly every 30 days to our current customers. Um, and like I said, it just goes out and that just helps uh, let people know that, hey, we're looking for business. So one of the one of my favorite ways to actually bring this up, because a lot of people, they're, they're, they get awkward. They're like unconfident on asking for business. And so this is a really, uh, really cool. And I feel like natural way that you can ask for referrals. So you just say, oh, by the way, who do you know that could benefit from the tutoring that we offer? And that's it. And you just simply wait for an answer. So the O, oh, by the way, is nice because if you're talking like, hey, you know what? Your child's doing really, really fantastic. We worked on multiplication today and they, you know, they're, they're doing really, really great with their, their eights. Um, so it's really fantastic. You know, oh, that's awesome. Cool. Oh, hey, by the way, who do you know that could benefit from tutoring that we offer? Do you know anyone? Do you have friends, family, coworkers, anyone, you know, that is also struggling um, you know, just like your child was, blah, 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 et cetera. So like, this is a really cool way to naturally bring it up and it's not pushy. It's not, you know, it doesn't feel forced. Um, and so this is a really cool sentence that I feel like you should just like really put in your uh, repertoire. Cool. So check it out. If a customer refers a bunch of people to you right now, like we have a couple rock star people that literally refer so many people to us these are the people that you really really want to take care of right you want to do something special for these people to show your appreciation um, and let them know like hey i really appreciate what you're doing i really appreciate you trusting me with the people in your life and sending them to me um, and so this is my way of thanking you right so um get them a nice bottle of wine right this is something that i used to do um, and I still do it on occasion, um, but just simply uh, a nice bottle of wine with like a little, uh, you know, handwritten note card just saying thank you um, can go a long way, right? Um, send them a fruit basket. So there's a company here where I live that I used to, I used to call, um, it was like a hundred bucks. And basically you get this like super nice custom fruit basket and it'll be mailed directly to their house um, or delivered to their house rather. Um, and people would love it, right? I mean, they would like take pictures of it. They post it on social media. They'd be like, look, this is so awesome. You know, our tutor just sent me this. It's so great. They tag us. And it was a really, really cool way. And people loved it, right? Um, but if you're not at this level yet, that's okay. You could simply send them a handwritten card, right? So if you send them a handwritten card and they receive that in the mail, I mean, that's going to differentiate you from a lot of other people out there. I mean, when's the last time that you open up the mail and from a company got a handwritten note or handwritten card? If I had to guess, probably not very often, right? So you want to differentiate yourself. And this is a cool way of showing it because they know that you took the time out of your day to actually write that card, to get that card, to mail that card. So people understand that and they really appreciate stuff like that, right? And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how you do it, but you definitely want to show them your appreciation, right? You want to show them your appreciation appreciation one because they're really helping you out and two because you want to make sure that they don't feel like they're being taken advantage of like hey i keep sending you all you know all these people and they're not even saying thank you right so um make sure you do something special and i know some people think like you know what this costs me money but it really doesn't especially if they're sending you so much business you're going to make a massive um roi which is return on investment uh, more than you ever would with anything else, right? So this is basically um, an example of a thank you card that I actually send out. Um, all I did was I went on Amazon and I, I searched in a little bar like thank you cards or or whatever. And I found this box. I, I think this is a box of like a hundred thank you cards. And it cost me like, I don't know, like 20 bucks, 20, 25 bucks or something. Um, it comes with these super nice little stickers to close and everything. And like, this is one of the messages I wrote. I just put like, you know, hey, Susan, thank you for referring Justin over to us. You're awesome. Appreciate you. Little happy face, Rich, right? And that's it. Like, you guys are probably a lot more creative than me. You guys can probably, uh, you know, come up with something even better than that. But just something as simple as this mailed out to them can go a long way. Right. So check it out. So that, that's that's how short this training is. Hopefully you guys found some value out of it. Um, I know it's a, it's a Friday, so you guys probably want to get you guys this Friday started. Um, but I'm going to open up the floor for some Q&A. If you guys have any questions, then fantastic. 
If not, then uh, we can just go and enjoy our Fridays.